All right, welcome to a rather impromptu video. And what you see before you here is something that, for me anyway, is very nostalgic and kind of sad. Uh, this is the result of my final run to Toys R Us. I read a couple weeks ago that Toys R Us was going out of business, and I was driving past my local Toys R Us. And, uh, in fact, they are going out of business at the end of the month, so I decided to stop in. And I haven't been in a Toys R Us to buy anything for myself anyway in about 15 to 20 years. Uh, I believe I stopped back to pick up a um, birthday gift or a baby shower gift at, at some point. So I wasn't really looking at anything I would be interested in. But, yeah, here we have it. We have uh, Ness, the Amiibo, uh, from Earthbound, a Star Wars TIE Fighter Ninja Turtles, uh, Ninja Turtles figure. Super Donnie, part of apparently a classics collection, and something I'm really happy to have, uh, the Macho Man Randy Savage WrestleMania 3 action figure, and this was just sort of sitting off to the side. Prices weren't that great, I have to admit, usually going out of uh, business pricing is actually quite high, as they try to reap in the last bit of profit before they shut the doors. Nonetheless, this was, again, a nostalgic uh, moment for me to go back, and each one of these figures or toys uh, represent something about my youth and I'm going to unbox some of them here and uh, take you through it. Uh, I'm not going to unbox everything. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, figure I will leave in box only because I actually found a number of my original Ninja Turtle figures in storage. So I don't know if I had this one but I had a number of Donatello figures and so I could find them if I really wanted to. Uh, I am going to However, unbox the Macho Man, uh, the Star Wars figure. Uh, I'll leave the Amiibo uh, in box as well, but I'll say something about each of these products. So let's go. Let's unbox my final Toys R Us haul. All right, we're going to start off with uh, this Star Wars figure. Uh, I was really uh, surprised how expensive Star Wars merchandise was. I was going to uh, pick up one of those Lego... Star Destroyer things, but uh, they were about uh, almost 200 bucks. so I went with uh, this, which was $5. Now let's open it up. Uh, I have not opened up a toy in quite some time, so here, fairly uh, basic, TIE Fighter looks uh, fairly... I'm not going to say fairly detailed. Pretty cheap toy. But a little bit of nostalgia, you know. Uh, Star Wars was never a, I would say, huge part of my youth. But <clears throat> I always liked the toys. Uh, even though I missed out watching the films um, in the theaters. I only really saw them in high school as part of a project. But there you go. Now, I said I wasn't going to unbox this, uh, and I'm not. I never really got into the Amiibos. This is, I think, maybe the third Amiibo that I have. The others were gifts, and I picked this up, I don't know, maybe it was uh, seven or eight bucks. But it's Earthbound. It's a game that I really enjoyed in my youth, and uh, I guess this is a Smash Brothers thing. So it will remain in the box, but it'll be a nice little addition to the game room. And I also said I wasn't uh, going to open this. Like I said, I have a lot of Ninja Turtle action figures. Um, but uh, one of the reasons why I want to leave this in the box is it shows you here on the back all of the classic figures that I guess they re-released. And, you know, had I known that they were re-releasing all of these, I probably would have uh, bought them. But look, this uh, Leonardo actually was the first Ninja Turtle action figure that I ever got. Um... I want to say uh, my grandparents got it for me, uh, much to my parents' chagrin. They thought these were dangerous toys for kids to have, but I talked them into it. And very quickly, I picked up the original uh, Turtle set from 88, along with Splinter and the Foot Soldier, Bebop, Rocksteady. I definitely had all of those. I'm not sure if or when I got Shredder. I think I had Krang. Uh, but I don't remember Super Donnie. I, I, I want to say that eventually I got, like, maybe Skateboard Michelangelo. But, you know, just a, a nice classic uh, back-to-the-box. And so I will hold on to this in box. 
And lastly, this is something that I was excited about. And I actually saw this and wanted to pick this up uh, when it came out. I don't know when this is from. The Macho Man WrestleMania 3, 2016. I don't know where I saw that. I want to say someone on Twitter uh, had this, someone that I follow on Twitter. And it just looks awesome. I mean, the Macho Man Randy Savage. It's been a long time since I've had an action figure. Obviously a staple of my youth. So I'm going to tear into this. Uh, I looked up the price, by the way, online. I wondered if maybe I had gotten a steal, but as it turns out, it's actually selling on eBay, a uh, new inbox for less than what I paid at uh, Toys R Us. So I will just open this up and have some fun with it, seeing that it is WrestleMania weekend. I have this. Looks. Would like to save the box if possible. Well, there he is. What a pain in the ass to get out of the box, but a nice looking action figure. He's got his classic uh, Macho Man attire and a nice, uh, just a nice looking. You know, they really got the robe down. This is Macho Man as I remember him um, when I first discovered wrestling. And I'm trying to see the arms. Let's see what the. Yeah, very uh, poseable here. Um, haven't kept up with wrestling figures at all since the Hasbro days. So I don't know if this is good or bad on all the different uh, motions that he can do. Legs don't seem to move all that much. But the torso raises up, so there you have uh, the Macho Man. And throw the robe on. This kind of reminds me of those uh, Japanese style figures. Um, so there he is, Macho Man Randy Savage. I wonder if the glasses come off. A lot of those Japanese figures, like you can take the little accessories off, but I'm not going to try that here. So there you have it, Macho Man Randy Savage. And there it is, the final uh, Toys R Us haul. Never go to Toys R Us again. Uh, part of my youth that uh, kind of I, I took for granted. I always assumed that Toys R Us would be there. I'd always, I always assumed that if I had kids one day, I would be buying their toys and video games there. But times change, and it was extremely nostalgic to go back there one last time and get some things that were really part of my youth. Big Ninja Turtles fan, like the Star Wars toys, huge uh, wrestling fan. Macho Man was one of my favorite wrestlers. And then, of course, a big fan of Earthbound. So it was a nice, nostalgic final haul at Toys R Us.